we're in. Welcome back. This is Wadam. My I tried combing my hair. It didn't want to be combed. We're into some more Elden Ring. And this is after I put in the the fix, apparently, from Nexus Mods that is supposed to fix invisible enemies and also help with some other stuff. And all it took was replacing the regulation.bin file, which is an easy thing to do. So we're going to try that out. If if it doesn't work, then I guess we'll, or we're about to find out. I don't even remember where I left off. Okay, we're here. Are we outside of Castle Morn? No, we're inside. We are... okay. How's our FPS? Frame rate is... Uh, you know, it's at the edge of what is acceptable, I would say. Not finding any difference so far. There is an enemy over there that I... I am seeing. I point out the sky. Okay, that improves FPS. All right. You know what? I'll just keep on playing through like normal. If I happen to notice that it's not working as intended, then we'll find out when that happens. So there's these guys. So I think if I take out the flyer first. Because this guy's... Oh, fuck. Never mind. He's awake. Oh, well, he went down. Ow. Got you. There we go. So, not quite how I planned it to go, but it's kind of working. That's a pretty nasty blade. So where'd the axe man go? Still down there? Ah, there we go. Ooh. Oh, jellyfish don't like it when you attack them, I guess. Now, is that going to damage the axe guy as well? You know what, let's just get our runes. Oh, we had barely any. That almost wasn't worth it. Oh yeah, you just set yourself up for me, didn't you? No. Oh. I parried way too early. <laughs> of course. Alright. I don't really want to attack the jellyfish again. Because that was a little scary. They don't seem to aggro if I'm just nearby them. If I go down here, will they aggro? No, they're friendly. They're friendly as long as I don't accidentally attack them. Alright, so... Let's check out this dude over here. I'm not going to bother with my runes, they weren't very much. Leonine Misbegotten. Okay. Okay. Get caught up on the geometry. Oof. Uh, I thought I had a safe moment to drink, but that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I was trying to roll past him to his left and then take a drink, but I kind of rolled right up into his face. All right. We can just 
get a bunch of smoldering butterflies this way, though. I don't think they're especially rare or anything like that, but it doesn't hurt. Are these jellyfish, like, hiding some secrets? Makes me wonder. Might be something around the perimeter out here. Nope, not over here. Well, I'm gonna give another crack. Take another crack at Leah 9 there. I don't know if he's doable yet. But... If I think he's doable, then we're gonna keep on taking some more cracks at him. Alright, misbegotten Leonine. Ooh. Hmm. I took... How many hits was that? Was that two or three? That I, you know, that I hit him with. I think it was three. This can't be a long recording session today, because unfortunately I have to work again. But... You know what? If we just focus on Leonine here, then that might be fine. Still looking for that girl's dad, too, to deliver a letter. Okay. Nope. He's a tough guy. I'll give him that. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna keep on fighting him. Cause... Partly cause he seems tough. And I'm not totally awake in real life. But also because... Part of what I want to do is figure out if this mod is working the way it's intended to work. So, to do that, let's go here. Go up this elevator, because I know there are... There is a bunch of enemies that would sh normally be invisible to me. But if I can see them all just fine, then that means the mod is working. The FPS is definitely dropping. And I can see the enemies just fine. Okay, cool. Still sucks that it's kind of low FPS, but it becomes infinitely more playable if I can actually see the enemies that are, you know, hanging out in front of me. So I don't accidentally run into them. I keep seeing these little landmarks. What is that? No, yeah, because I see them in different parts of the world. Nobody's attacking me, so I'm just going to take a closer look. I feel like these mean something, and if I didn't already have the ability to teleport between Sites of Grace, I would think that they are teleporters. But it's like, why would the game give you two different teleporting systems? So I, should I just go for a frontal assault here? We got our sorcerer. Let's switch to the uh, wandering nobles. Take you out. 
These guys are going to be tough. Sidestep. Oh. There we go. Let's help out our wandering nobles there. Oh. Doggy has joined the battle. Damn it. Okay. That was not well executed. The nobles are still sticking around though. They're not Oh, they're they're almost dead now. Probably something I could have done to make that go better. I think I could kill the dogs separately. Maybe that's what I'll do, is I'll, I'll kill the dogs, or at least a handful of the dogs first. Just draw them with my bow. And then I'll summon the wandering nobles. <laughs> yeah, something dies every time I use this elevator to go up. Okay, so... Let's... If I pull you... Yeah. All right, village corpse, thin beast bones, and let's pull you. If I kill, if I can kill a few dogs this way, that's definitely gonna make things easier. Ooh, there we go. There's also dudes up the staircase from me, too. I don't think they'll interfere if we start the main fight. I think they're kind of more like a side challenge. Got you. Ooh. That got me low. It's flying, flying a little close to the sun there. I wonder if I can draw these guys out one by one. Or is it going to trigger them all? It could trigger them all. Alright. We'll draw... We'll tr try to draw one out. If it doesn't work, then I'll call the Wandering Nobles and initiate the fight. I feel like there should have been another dog wandering around over here. Doesn't seem like it. Unless it's maybe there's a dog like hiding behind that tree or something like that. What is happening up here anyway? Oh yeah, there's a fight going on up there as well. Kind of forgot about that. Alright, let's try. Let's try to draw one. The other ones don't care. Got you. Your attacks are a little bit slower than mine. We'll pick off the ones closer to the edge. This... Every Dark Souls game has this, where it's like... You can just use... Doesn't even have to be a powerful arrow or anything, just anything to attack from a distance. Old Fang. 
and draw a, a crowd of enemies one by one. Could have done a repost on him, but it, I flailed. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it seems like you can, sometimes it seems like you can't. Maybe you can't do a repost with a flail. Maybe that's only if I have my dagger out. I feel like I must have used the flail to repost at some point, though. So I'm probably wrong. Ooh. I guess I wasn't paying attention to my health. I should have been more careful. <laughs> the arrows lodged into the space behind him. Which kind of says to me, the hitbox is a little funky. Maybe a little extra generous for them. Hey, you. Well, I mean, I feel like I've come up here a couple of times. I should have, if if the mod wasn't working, then I should have seen enemies go invisible. So the fact that they are totally visible means to me that it's working as intended. So cool, good work. So who made this mod? Retarendil. So thank you, Retarendil. You did good you do good mods. You do a very useful mod. You did us a good mod. Oh, too high. Ah, you moved. There we go. Alright, come at me, pup. There we go. You took a couple of bites out of me. Oh, there is the other pup. Kind of wandering in from the right. Dang. These pups are out for blood. Oh, am I out of I'm out of arrows. Okay, well, that kind of screws up my plans. Hi pup. Can you see me from there? Gotcha. I have these Kukri. I have nine of them. Yeah, we'll, we'll just use those. Fly in a straight line. Oh. Gotcha. I was pretty happy with that. Get your attention. Yeah, it seems like these these throwing daggers don't have any fall. <clears throat> like the arrows do. Which I think has always been the case for, you know, throw throwable daggers in Dark Souls. All right, that does a decent amount of damage, really. Nice. Got you. Oh, 
Okay, I got this down to a science now. Let him pull, come in, and then defensive jump attack. And then just a couple of swings. This feels cheesy, doing it one by one like this. Ah. Do more attacks. Ooh, Iron Cleaver. I'm relatively safe. Just out of curiosity. How does that... Like, okay, it's a big item. Strength 15. Fairly large iron cleaver, commonly used by the maltreated misbegotten. Okay, so that's what these are called, is mis misbegotten. Because Leonine misbegotten was the guy we were we were fighting below. Steeped in resentment, these weapons are swung wildly and relentlessly, often after rushing up to foes. Wild strikes, swing armament with wild abandon, hold to continue swinging, can be followed up with a normal or strong attack. So. Okay. Wild Strikes, yeah. We have a battle art for that. A war pick. I never actually took a close look at this. No, yeah, I did, actually. Strength 11. I wonder if there's a way to just filter for any weapons you can't use. Alright, well, I only got a three more of these Kukri left. All right, let's go. Actually, I should heal. <laughs> wow, okay. Hell yeah. Gotcha. Kind of feel like I wasted my wandering nobles just now, because he's he was an act one of those axe users and took out a fair chunk of them all by himself. I was probably better off just saving the wandering nobles for later. So I was misidentifying these guys as demi humans, but they're actually misbegotten. Okay, did I get your attention? I think I did. Hi, there you go. Nice. Old Fang. I hear another one. At least one more, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I got your attention there. And there's that dude with the pothead. Let's heal. Nice. Okay. So what do we got here? Fire Grease. That's relatively useful. What is up here? Is this a place I have... No, this is not a place I have been to yet. Okay, fellows, you go in first. Oh, <laughs> so much for you. Can I summon you again? No, it doesn't seem like it. Did I get anyone's attention? They are not in the same room with me. Okay. Dang it. It's not the button I meant to press. Claymore. 
Nice, nice. Well, if I go for a strength build, this is probably one of the first places I want to go to then. Get a big cleaver and a claymore. The only thing that's missing is the location of the Zweihander. Ah, hello. Can I draw you in here? Because you probably have friends out there. Oh. They're just hanging out with a dude. There's a soldier there that may or may not be dead. Oof. God damn it. God damn it. Ah. Uh. I messed up. <clears throat> I forgot that I was holding onto my knife instead of my flail. So I was like, oh shit, I gotta switch to my flail. I, what I should have done is just tried to go for the parry when I realized I had my knife. Because it took me a moment to actually switch back. Hmm. I don't really want to fight all of those other guys again, especially now that I don't have arrows. Because all of these guys have probably respawned. Yeah. Can I sneak past them? I feel like I'm a bit sneakier with my knife out instead of my flail, but I could be wrong. Oh, I got one of one of them at their attention. Oh. Okay, well. If it's only one okay, that's not just one. Okay, well there goes those souls. I only drew two of them, though. I can handle two of them. Man, those guys are just like mutants, aren't they? It's got a lizard tail, bird wings, reptile scales. All right, you know what? What I should do... Actually, you know what? I'll just keep on going. If I happen to get enough runes to that makes it worth it to go back to buy some more arrows, then I can do it then. Whenever that is the case. Whenever that happens. <clears throat> this pressure plate makes no sense, mechanically speaking. Because the that this elevator is so thin. Okay. So if I try to play it sneaky, I'm only going to draw the attention of a couple of them, I think. Okay. What did I get? 131? Alright. Are any of them following me? Because it seems like when you have their attention, they have like a semi aggroed state, and then they have an aggroed state. So there's one where, like, the first one, they just want to investigate, so they're not rushing over to you. They're kind of just casually walking over. I know. Yeah, none of them are following me. Okay, cool. Good to know that is a valid strategy. Yeah, more of these rockets. 
Rocket launchers. Rocket launchers. And I'm still low on Kukri's. Yeah, this is my last one. I will draw out this guy again. But this time I have a flail ready to go. Gotcha. Nice, nice, nice. See, I feel like part of it too is switching to my knife from my spleal after doing a, a parry or a guard break like that. It also interrupts my combo. And I think part of the reason I wasn't getting the repost off was because I was still mid combo. He is. Oh, there are both my enemy. Oh. Oh, I see. Nope. Okay. I had to get aware of the situation. Nice. Well, sorry, buddy. I wanted to see if I could save you, but I have the feeling you would have just attacked me anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure you found me even... I'm not sure if I was even supposed to see them standing there. Or if that was just supposed to be like a fight waiting to happen. Around the corner once I came upon them. Oh, I can't... I can't do my thing now. These guys are busy. Is there any items here that I can get? I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt their fight. Oh, okay. Well, there's more guys over there that are not fighting. Sorry, excuse me. Pardon me. Got a place to be. <laughs> yeah, look at how slow the how laggy their animations are. Oh, nice. I get the credit. Wait, is there anything up here? Is there just this way down here? This is just an alternate path to the way I went before, isn't it? What is that noise? Oh, it's that. It's that dude. Am I just getting free souls because they're fighting over there? I am, too. Nice. Okay, well, it looks like I know which side won. Oh, there is an item over there. I could have gotten that. I can't summon my boys right now, so... I'm not gonna go for that. Oh, these guys have noticed me, though. Can they climb up the ladder? Yes, they can. Okay, good to know. Got you. Yeah, there's another one coming up. Nice, okay. Couldn't have planned it out better myself. Oh, let's not go up here. There's at least one more, possibly more. I think I see two. Yeah. We're all calling finger in midi. Okay. That kind of wasn't worth it, but whatever. Bolt. Would have preferred arrows. Can't smash that. So what I'm guessing is the misbegotten were these guys were the slaves or something like that. And... Then they, there was an uprising. 
Hi, can I get your attention? Yes, I can. Yeah, you're done. They have freaky faces. Like, their mouths are just a little bit too large. Reminds me of Attack on Titan. Some of the Titans on there have faces similar to that. Now I'm just gonna top up. Do 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 do. <clears throat> Steel wire torch. That's different.